My name is Lucy Bemis. Um, I've lived in the Metro Detroit area for my entire life now, which is 21 years. Um, more specifically, St. Clair Shores, which is 15, 17 minutes north of here. Um, and I'm in Detroit, Detroit, or Midtown, downtown area quite often, as I'm a student at Wayne State University, currently finishing up my degree. Detroit growing up, was definitely very different than Detroit today. And especially in my parents' history, their time growing up, Detroit was what, like one of the number one murder capitals of the nation. And there was high crime, high murder, and just all these things, and a really bad rep for the city. So naturally, from my, from my parents' history of the city, that was kind of put onto me as well with my perception. Even when I told people I was going to Wayne State my first year, a lot of them were like, oh, Wayne State? Like, it used to have the, the reputation of, it's a commuter school, there's nothing down there, it's boogie town, it's, it's bad, um, it's unsafe. Given that time has gone by, especially since my parents have experienced the city, the city's grown a lot, and today Wayne State has its own police force that is super well versed in the area and so it's like one of the top 30 safest college campuses in the nation. Yeah I think just a lot of the fear of like oh it's a bad area has completely disappeared for me because Detroit today seems to be something completely different than it was years past. When I think of like a Detroit company and Detroit brand I think of Shinola. The name for Shinola actually came from like an old war thing as a phrase to tell somebody like you know nothing like they would say you don't know beep from Shinola and the creator of the company was like huh, I like that phrase <laughs> and so he decided to make that the name of the brand and initially they started producing only bicycles so that was like their main gig and they eventually expanded to watches and other leather goods I, I've always just felt super, super comfortable there, very at home, very taken care of. And it was enough to make me really desire to apply there, to work there. So I worked there for two years and just learned a lot about the company. And I've grown a love for just really well-crafted, carefully put together things. And like, what a more beautiful company than Chinola to have like handmade watches, bicycles, leather goods. and. It's just really cool to see those products also being produced in the city itself. At the College for Creative Studies, they actually have a factory there where they put together a lot of their products. You walk in and you're not necessarily there to just like grab a product and go, but you're there for an experience, you're there to be taken care of. You're there to, to feel like you're just having a great time in Detroit and everyone takes care of you. and. Yeah, they, they go above and beyond to really make that experience happen. So the Petoskey Stone is actually a form of a rare fossilized coral, and you can find it on the shores of the Great Lakes, especially in Petoskey, Michigan. They will harvest those stones, polish them up, and they will cut them to fit either like different jewelry, like they have rings, they have earrings. I believe they have like cufflinks as well. And then they'll also finely slice the top of the stone and they can make that into the face of a watch. Um, I know they have like a, a different rock series of their product for watches. They have like turquoise, tiger eye, petoskey, jade, like all these different beautiful naturally occurring stones. They also have, I believe, two different watch styles that are named after streets in Detroit. So the, the shop we were at earlier was their first satellite location and their Canfield watch is named after Canfield Street on which it's on, which is one of my favorite streets in Detroit. Yeah, it's beautiful. That little that little area there reminds me of Europe, honestly, with the with the stonework. As a city today, I would describe Detroit probably as like a hub for industry, for innovation, for creativity, for culture and for history. It, it has so much to it from all of its old architecture to all of its ethnic food places to just beautiful creative art exhibits like popping up overnight. It's, it's like a blink and somebody creates something or 
I'll oftentimes like I'll, I'll go out with friends or something. It's like, oh, like maybe we'll get food downtown or we'll get a dessert downtown. And inevitably, we end up walking around and just discovering things. And it's beautiful to see a city that used to have such a bad rep just being completely renovated and turned into a beautiful thing seemingly overnight. And the people too, the people too. You'll be walking on the street and you'll always see an interesting character, have an interesting conversation. And yeah, people take the time.